For this problem, we are going to sketch the graph of the hyperbola given by this equation. Here we have the standard form of a hyperbola. First, we need to get our equation into standard form by completing the square. To do this, we need to get the coefficients of x squared and y squared equal to 1. So we're going to factor out a negative 9 from these two terms. After we do this, we have x squared plus 4x minus 9 times y squared plus 12y equals 356. To complete the square, we need to add 4 to this binomial, so we're going to add 4 to the right side. We also need to add 36 to this binomial, but since we factored out a negative 9 on the left side, we have to add 36 times negative 9 on the right side. So after completing the square, we have x plus 2 squared minus 9 times y plus 6 squared equals 36. Now we need to get the right hand side equal to 1. So we're going to divide both sides by 36. After reducing the fractions, we have x plus 2 squared over 36 minus y plus 6 squared over 4 equals 1. Next, we're going to rewrite both of the denominators so that we have x plus 2 squared over 6 squared minus y plus 6 squared over 2 squared equals 1. Now that we have our equation in standard form, we can see that a equals 6 and will be horizontal since it is under the x, b equals 2 and will be vertical since it is under the y, and the center is at negative 2, negative 6. Now we will graph the relevant points. The center is at negative 2, negative 6, and since a is equal to 6, we're going to graph two points, 6 to the left and 6 to the right of the center. So the first point is at negative 8, negative 6, and the second point is at 4, negative 6. Since b is equal to 2, we're going to graph two points, 2 above and 2 below the center. So the first point is at negative 2, negative 4, and the second point is at negative 2, negative 9. Now we're going to use the four outer points to graph a rectangle that looks like this. The asymptotes of the hyperbola are the diagonals of this rectangle. So the first asymptote is the line y equals negative one-third x minus twenty-thirds, and the second asymptote is the line y equals one-third x minus sixteen-thirds. Since x squared is positive in this problem, the hyperbola is going to open up to the left and to the right. And this completes the problem.